Hi, this is Sean Bodley with Clear Technologies, and I'm about to demonstrate how to perform a snapshot migration from PowerHA version 6.1 to PowerHA version 7.1.3. Now, just like with the rest of my video demos, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, feel free to leave them here back on the video, or send me an email at sbodley at cleartechnologies.net. Now, let me first give an overview of the steps required to actually perform a snapshot migration. Now, snapshot migration does require a full system outage. So, you have to stop the cluster on all nodes. Uh, make sure you choose the option to bring the resource groups offline. Do not perform an unmanaged uh, stop. If you haven't created a cluster snapshot already, then create a cluster snapshot. In the case of my demo, I've already got a snapshot. I will show the name of the snapshot file, so I won't uh, show how to create one. Uh, then, if you need to upgrade AIX to support version 7.1.3 of PowerHA, which would be AIX 6.1.9 or 7.1.3 with SP1, then go ahead and upgrade AIX. Um, after you upgrade, make sure that you have the CAA file sets installed. Um, if you're coming from a, a release prior to uh, 616, you won't have it because they didn't exist. Uh, so be sure you install uh, boss.cluster and boss.ahafs. Uh, uh, those are requirements for CAA. There are some additional file sets if you want to use uh, systems director demo and encrypted uh, communications and San Heartbeat, but the only two that are required are boss.cluster and uh, boss.ahafs. So the next um, three or so steps here uh, really can vary in the order. Um, it's just key that they're all done before you actually uh, deinstall and reinstall HA. So there, there is some flexibility to these steps, but this is the exact steps that uh, I perform the migration. So we have to update the entries uh, inside Etsy cluster R hosts. Uh, it'll be empty. And what you do is you put in either the IP address or the actual host name of each node in the cluster, uh, one per line. And that's it. Uh, historically, I've always recommended doing the IP address. Uh, recent conversations with PowerHA development, uh, they seem to be strongly encouraging putting the actual name in there and even the fully qualified uh, domain name in the file. Uh, there's also been a recent, uh, very recent, as of March 2015, update to the base pub uh, in the migration section to state the same thing. So I've had luck uh, with using either one. Uh, in this particular case, I will show putting just the, the, the standard uh, host name in the file. Then refresh CLComD to make it be aware of the entries in the file. Uh, then we will run the CLMIGCheck command. Option two is to actually check our snapshot file to make sure that it's compatible with version 7 and that there are no errors in it. And then assuming that comes back okay and there's not any error messages, then the next thing we do is we will run option 3 of CLMIG check, which will ask us to specify if we want to use a cluster um, multicast address or do we want to use unicast for IP-based heartbeating. Uh, then we will exit out of CL MIG check. We will deinstall the current version. Uh, PowerHA 6.1 happens to be SP14, which is latest and greatest uh, as of March 2015. Uh, strongly recommended to always start with the latest service pack before you uh, perform an upgrade. In this case, um, we're going to go ahead and install. PowerHA 7.1 and the service packs at the same time. In my case, it's, it's service pack 2. Then we will run a conversion on the snapshot file to convert it to uh, version 7.1.3. Then I will uh, apply the snapshot back through SMIT. That will actually recreate 
the PowerHA cluster, it will create the CAA cluster, and it will sync up the cluster uh, between the nodes. Then after that, I can check that the CAA cluster has been created. I'll show you the LSPV output and see the CAA VG private. Then I will start the cluster. Uh, this says one node at a time. Uh, I will do a seal start and tell it to start both nodes, but even when you tell it to do both nodes, it really does one node at a time anyway. So having that said, I will uh, switch over now to my uh, putty sessions to perform the demo. Okay, here's my two node cluster. You can see I'm 61 SP14. My cluster is stable. And I'm going to stop the cluster. You can see that I'm telling it to stop both and that the last time I stopped it I must have done an unmanage. So now I'm telling it to bring it offline completely. So then I will wait for the cluster to come down and show ST init. I'm getting ST init on both sides. Now in this case if you needed to upgrade AIX, this is where you would actually upgrade it and reboot and then load the additional file sets uh, as needed for CAA. In my case, I've already got the right OS and the, and the file sets installed, so I'm going to skip that. Because when you install them and you reboot them, then the other services that you need, like uh, CLCOMD, uh, will, will be activated. So I'm just showing here on... on uh, both nodes. I got DB2 up top and my web node uh, on the bottom. So there's my cluster in AHA FS. So now I'm going to go ahead and modify my R host file. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and just put the host names, which is DB2 and web. Again, historically, I've, I've usually used the IP address, but I wanted to show that, of course, putting in the host names uh, work as well. So I've added that to uh, both nodes, and then after doing that, I need to go ahead and refresh CLCOMD on both nodes. And now that's been completed, so now we can uh, um, show you the snapshot that I've already created, it's called 61SP14 Pre-71 Upgraded. We're going to come back and use that later. Um, actually, I'm not going to remove uh, the file set yet. I'm going to go ahead and run CLMIG check so I can perform a check against the snapshot. And since I just highlighted it a second ago, I can now cut and paste the name in there. So it checks it and says, hey, no problems other than disk heartbeat. That's normal. Don't worry about it. So now let's do the repository disk. I chose unicast and you can see now CL MIG check is actually reporting the size to us and I chose the only free disk I have available between the two systems. So now I'm exiting CL MIG check and I will show you that on the second node that the CL MIG check dot text file uh, gets created. So this exists on each node in the cluster so when the CAA node actually gets created it will actually use the contents of that file to know how to create the CAA cluster. So now I'm just I'm removing my 6.1 file sets. I'm just doing a smitty remove cluster asterisk. And I happen to be on a Power 8 system, so my deinstalls and reinstalls actually run uh, very quickly. So I will uh, wait for this to finish, and then what we'll do is I'll turn around and install PowerHA 7.1 with the Service Pack 2 uh, at the same time. So on my DB2 server, the deinstall has completed. So now I'm going to change over to install images so I can install 7.1. So I'll go through and uh, choose my file sets. I don't install all the HA file sets. By default, I pretty much just choose the only ones that I need. Uh, this particular install image is Enterprise Edition, so there's a lot more in it. I'm really only going to be installing a lot of the bare necessities for Standard Edition only. 
So I will uh, choose client server, cSpock, the license, MIG check, and uh, some of the man pages and messages, and that's about it. Okay, so always accept new license agreements and I'll kick that one off and running and now I will repeat the same thing over on my second node web so actually um, I'm just gonna go through the list and pick the same ones just uh, show me picking a couple of these and I'll uh, I'll advance this a little quicker. I'll just pause the video while I choose the rest of these. So that's about all I'm going to choose on the second node. And you can see the install on the first node already finished while I was still going through the list on the second one. So I'm done here. You can see I've got some 7132. If I check my HA level, it shows me 713 SP2. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get ready to convert the snapshot that I have so we can turn around and apply it afterwards. The, um, the actual CL convert snapshot command is located in the directory shown here, user ES has been cluster conversion. So I'm just showing on web that uh, same level of 713 SP2 and I've already had the command stored of CL convert snapshot minus V is telling it what version are you migrating from and minus S is just you're specifying the name of the snapshot file and by default it will look for it in the user ES has been cluster snapshots directory so now if I look I see I've got a file name that has a dot old that was my original 6.1 now my converted one has assumed the name of what I started with. So now what I need to do is go into uh, the Smith menus to restore the cluster configuration from a snapshot. So I go to snapshot config, restore, choose it out of my list, and just hit enter. So of course I'm sure because I know what I'm doing. So this will actually uh, take a couple of minutes and I will uh, pause the video a few times just for uh, time efficiency. But on the second node, I'll keep looking at HDisk 1, and I will eventually see CAAVG private, uh, underscore private, show up, and that is the repository disk for the CAA cluster. So you can see here in the output above, it says it may take up to two minutes for this to actually create. So I will, uh, oh, there we go. I can see it on the second node, which means I should be close to finishing. LS cluster has given me uh, good feedback. So I'll wait for a second for this to complete on the original source node DB2. Okay. So the uh, recreate of the cluster has been successful and now I'm simply going to tell it to start both nodes and the cluster so the only time you usually see this state of not configured is right after you've had an HA install and you've never started the cluster before so since we just installed 713 SP2 uh, that's why it says not configured even though both of them have ODM so now I will uh, see that DB2 has already come up and is online and is stabilized and I'm waiting for the standby node and now it is stabilized. So in my environment I've got just a single volume group, a single resource group. You can see here I've got a HA service address. My uh, volume group is test NIM backup VG and you can see that it's online now my application I have a dummy application so there's nothing really to show from an app level but in a, in a nutshell 
that's it. Uh, we have successfully performed a snapshot migration from version 6.1 to version 7.1.3 SP2. And with that, I will go ahead and uh, uh, wrap up the demo. So thanks for watching.